With the new school year comes renewed concerns about keeping students safe. One Great Falls teacher says mass tragedies like Columbine and 9-11 attacks spurred her to take action in the classroom. MTN sat down with the Great Falls public school officials to see how the district prepares staff to protect lives in any situation. When I started, there was one, one level to security. You practice fire drill. Fire has been reported in the building. Becky Frisbee says before becoming an educator 25 years ago, the threat of an active shooter never crossed her mind. It wasn't even part of the conversation when I was becoming a teacher. May I have your attention, please? For Frisbee, that threat hit home for the first time on April 20th, 1999. As a parent, hearing about Columbine, or even events like 9-11, those were the things that terrified me. As a teacher, I took a look around my classroom and thought, it is my job to keep them safe. How do I do that? She says GFPS was one of the first districts in the nation that sent teachers to receive updated federal training for school safety after Columbine. And it's our number one job. They're here, we want them to be safe because they can't learn if they're not safe. Training was a start, but Frisbee says best practices are always changing. You have to be ready, and every teacher has to decide where they're at in, in that particular journey. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. One thing that's remained unchanged is the dedication of school resource officers, or SROs. Columbine opened our eyes as law enforcement, as in, as in schools, as to how to respond to things, to horrific events. Past attacks devastate local schools and communities, but officials are repurposing that pain to better protect today's students. We learn from it, um, we improve from it, um, and we, we get better. With the school year just beginning, a fire has been reported in the building. Frisbee says they've already been through several safety drills. We've talked about things, we've ironed out things, and then we're ready for them when they get here. And no matter the classroom or campus, please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. Officials have laid new groundwork for safer schools. Crime prevention through environmental design. How can we improve how our buildings are built? The district continues their work with Great Falls Police to stay proactive and protected. We've gone with the change. Whether we like it or not, we've gone with the change. Reporting in Great Falls, Keely Van Middendorp, MTN News.